This unit is called Animal Crackers, Part 1. When is an animal? Not an animal. When it's a verb. There are many such animal crackers, and curiously, most of them are names of birds. That's why Part 1 of this vocabulary unit is birds only. So first we'll give you the noun, that is the name, and then we'll give you the verb. So here we go. First one, duck. To duck. To move the head or body downwards to avoid being hit or seen. He ducked the attack and grabbed his opponent's leg. And here comes a verb phrase. To duck out. To leave suddenly and usually without telling anyone that one is leaving. Let's duck out before the speeches start. I just need a place to duck out of the rain. To duck in, or duck into, to enter, especially without planning to do so. Let's duck in here for a moment. The thief ducked into the cinema hall when he saw the police. Gull. To gull. To deceive, trick, cheat, or hoodwink. I was gulled by their false promises of easy money. He planned to seduce Rita and gull her into handing over all her savings. Lark. To lark. To play boisterously or frolic. To have a merry time. Children, please. Lark all you like, but not in the house. We went larking through the park without a care in the world. To lark about or lark around. To enjoy yourself by behaving in a silly way. He had a rich papa and could afford to lark about on campus rather than study. You haven't much time, so don't lark around. Parrot. To parrot. To repeat something without thought or understanding. He had memorized the study guide and could parrot the standard answers word for word. Swan. To swan. To travel, move, or behave in a relaxed way and without caring for the reaction of others. The minister swanned through the drought-stricken villages, trailed by his team of videographers. To swan around, or swan about. To move in a pretentious, showy manner. She swans around the room, showing off her engagement ring. He followed Preeti to the temple, not to pray, but to swan about in his expensive new jeans. Goose. This is the female. To goose. To pinch or poke a person on the butt. To prod or urge to action or emotional reaction. The sly lout took advantage of the crowded lift to goose his victim without being caught. The boss offered handsome overtime pay, hoping to goose the staff into greater productivity. Now here's the male of the species, gander. To gander or to take a gander at. To look at or gaze around. I gandered through my closet looking for a warm coat. He knew what he wanted, but wouldn't buy until he had taken a gander at the prices. Chicken. This brings us a third phrase. To chicken out. To withdraw from an activity or plan on account of fear or prudence. Painting graffiti outside the dean's office seemed like a great idea when he was sitting with his friends in the canteen. But by the time he reached the Adam Block entrance, he had chickened out. Grouse. To grouse. To complain, especially about something trivial, and to complain continually. We might as well give him the lower berth. He will grouse all the way to Chennai if he doesn't get it. Crow. To crow. To make a loud call. For example, a rooster crowing. To speak very proudly about something. To boast. We have a verse to illustrate this. I like to watch the rooster crow. He is like so many men I know. Who brag and bluster, rant and shout, and beat their manly breast without the first damn thing to crow about. This verse was written by someone named J.K. Banks. Snipe. To snipe. To shoot at someone from a hiding place, especially accurately and at long range. 
the decoits on the rooftop sniped at the police to make a sly or petty verbal attack. He constantly sniped at his former colleague. Swallow. To swallow. He takes through the mouth and esophagus into the stomach. I could not swallow easily because of my throat infection. To envelop or take in as if by swallowing, absorb, to enclose or envelop completely. Within a mere 10 years, the desert village was swallowed by the advancing doom. To accept something uncritically, without question. Arun swallowed everything he read on social media. Crane, to crane, to stretch the neck, usually to get a better view. As the crowd swelled, Harish craned his neck, hoping to catch a glimpse of the movie star. Rook, to rook, to defraud, deceive, overcharge, cheat, or swindle. Over the years, the politician had used every gimmick in his bag of tricks. Could he rook the voters again? How? Quail, to quail, to back away, falter, cringe. Recoil in dread or terror. This is from the behavior of the bird. A quail faced with danger freezes and tries to make itself small and inconspicuous. The math teacher was huge and imperious with a voice that fell upon the ears like acid. The children quailed before him. I felt like Frankenstein quailing before the monster I had created. Hawk. Two hawk. To sell, particularly to offer something for sale by falling out in the street or going door to door. Now he owned a chain of department stores. Few people knew that he once hawked handkerchiefs and socks on the streets of Mumbai. To hunt with a hawk. When the prince rode out to hawk, twenty courtiers followed at a respectful distance. Our feathered friends made up part one. If you would like another round of tasty new words, please check out Uno Learning Animal Crackers Part 2.